Namaste. Welcome everyone. My name is Cassandra and I'm going to take you through this short morning yoga practice to help wake you up and to set the tone for the day ahead. Before we get into this morning's practice, I wanted to say a great big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. So if you followed me for a while, you know that I am a huge fan of therapy and counseling. It's something that I do for myself on a very regular basis. So BetterHelp is not self-help. It is not a crisis line. This is professional and secure online counseling. BetterHelp will assess your needs and will match you with a professional licensed therapist. You'll be connected with them within 48 hours of signing up. This is available worldwide. They have over 15,000 counselors with a broad range of expertise. This is not always something that you can find locally in your area. You can schedule weekly either phone or video sessions as well with your therapist. There's no such thing as waiting uncomfortably in a waiting room. If you've ever done that before, it is not the best feeling. This is all done in the privacy and the comfort of your own home on your devices. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life, and so do I. Your physical, mental, and emotional health is really what is the most important to me. Visit betterhelp.com slash Cassandra. That's better H-E-L-P dot com slash Cassandra. There is a special offer right now, so because you are part of this Yoga with Cassandra community, if you sign up using my link, which you'll see down below, in the description box, you can get 10% off your first month. So great big thank you to BetterHelp. And now let's get on with our yoga practice. All right, and let's begin. Take a seat in any way that is comfortable for you. Grounding, sit bones down, rolling your shoulders back, lengthening through the crown of your head, chin parallel to the floor. And you can reach your arms out to the sides. We're going to flow into some side bends. So you can reach one arm all the way up and over. And pull to go to the other side. Inhale lifts you up. And exhale, bending into it. Try to keep both sit bones firmly planted on the floor here so they're not lifting. We're really just isolating from our hip bones all the way up. Take about one more on each side. And the next time you come up to neutral, keep your palms flat to the ground, roll your shoulders back and see if you can just twist open and just notice what that range of motion is to you. It's very normal not to go too far. So you want to keep your hips and your knees facing forward and you're really just isolating your upper back or mid and upper back really. One more on each side. Back through to center, tabletop pose. Bring your hands under your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Just cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, curl tailbone up. Exhale, round and contract, really drop your head. So keep going through those two motions and begin to ask yourself what your intention is for the day. Maybe simply choosing one word that captures the essence of how you want this day to go, what it is that you want to focus on. Take one more, inhale, open through your chest. Exhale, round and contract. And now come back to your neutral tabletop stance here. Reach your right arm up to the sky, thread the needle, Parjvabalasana, shoulder and ear, come down to the mat. Before we go any further, push into your right hip. So keep your hips directly over your knees. And then maybe you decide to also stretch your left arm up overhead. Push your right arm into the floor and push your left fingertips into the ground as well. Pull your lower belly in. Let's slide our left hand back down, push into the palm, come all the way up, re-extend that right arm to the sky and bring it down. Second side, left arm rises, thread the needle, twist as you lower. So again, this time, push 
your hips to the left, stay on top of your knees, and then maybe extend that right arm straight, pushing into your right fingertips and pushing your left arm into the floor. Draw the belly in, supporting your lower back. Imagine you can breathe into your upper back. Slide that right hand in, push into your palm. Go ahead and lift on up. And we'll find our first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Walk your palms forward, tuck your toes under, and go ahead and lift your hips up and back. And if the hamstrings are tight, bend your knees, maybe paddle out the feet a little bit. Think of reaching and pushing your hands into the floor so that your chest reaches towards your thighs. Let's bring our right leg up to the sky for three-legged dog. You can bend your knee, open up your hip here. This is also my first practice of the day. So totally normal for the legs to feel a little tight. See if you can push down into that heel. Straighten the right leg, set the foot down. Second side, left leg up, bend your left knee, open up your hip, push into your right heel. Try to keep your shoulders fairly squared and leveled with each other. Straighten the left leg, bring that foot down. Come all the way forward into your plank pose and lower down onto your forearms. So this is your forearm plank. Think of reaching the crown of your head, tailbone towards your heels. Squeeze your upper arms together into your sphinx pose let your hips come down to the floor open through your chest roll your shoulders back and push into the tops of your feet a little bit here some of you will just want to stay here if you'd like to add a quad stretch i like to bring my left forearm at about a 45 degree angle bend into the right knee and see if you can reach back and pull that heel in towards you if it's too much, you can also just do this from laying down. That way you'll avoid compressing in your lower back. Really think of pushing your pubic bone into the floor if you're keeping your chest lifted for this one. We are not trying to injure ourselves. And let's release that right leg, switch sides. Focusing on your one word intention for the day what you want to prioritize and focus on. And let's release. We're gonna press back into a child's pose. Balasana, knees can be together or apart. Big toes together to touch. Press your hips back and fold on down. Getting into our hips here. Take five slow, steady breaths. One more big breath in through the nose. Exhale, let's press back up. Tabletop stance on hands and knees and you're just going to step your right foot forward. A variation on our low lunge. You can keep your left hand where it is. Bring your right hand to your right thigh and push into it so that you're twisting a little bit here. Notice what that left shoulder is doing. Slide it down. And again, maybe you choose to stay where you are or you add a quad stretch by bending your left knee reaching back for your left foot and pulling that heel in towards your glutes. So not lifting your hips to meet the foot, but pulling the foot in. And let's release the hold back into your tabletop pose. We'll switch sides. Left foot steps forward. My knee is over the top of my ankle. I'm bringing my left hand to my thigh, drawing the belly in, finding a nice twist here rolling and pressing that right shoulder back. 
and maybe adding on with your quad stretch, reaching back and pulling that heel in. You might find that one side's a lot easier than the other. One more breath in here. And release, step it back to downward facing dog this time. Notice how maybe this feels a little different the second time around. And we'll just take a little flow before we close. Inhale forward to plank. Lower all the way to your belly. Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Roll your shoulders back. Exhale, press back, child's pose, balasana. Stretch your arms out. And roll your chest up. Come to take a seat, same way you were at the beginning of class. Lots of length in your spine. Join your hands together at the front of your heart. Close your eyes. Set your intention for the day ahead. And take a moment to really thank yourself for carving out some time just for you. I know sometimes that's the hardest part of our practice. And we'll close with the chant of Om one time. Big breath in to chant. Inhale. Om. Bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you so very much for doing this morning yoga practice with me. If you'd like to stay a little longer on your mat, you could follow this class up with this meditation right here. Once again, a big thank you to our sponsors at BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to sign up for yourself, you'll find the link right down in the description of this video. Thank you again, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow morning.